Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Skyrim City Treasures. Today we have Souljun Sinkhole, which is weird because it seems to be like a pretty unique uh, miscellaneous quest, and I've never even come across it or heard about it or anything like that. So cool. So here we go. We're going to activate it right now. There it is. Souljun Sinkhole discovered. And as you can tell, there's like two things here. There is a house, and there is also... Whoa there. I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. All right, well, I was going to hold off on talking to you until I finished my description, but there's a house back there, and there's also a mine there, so we'll explore both locations. But this guy, Perth, wants to talk to us. The mine isn't safe. Why? We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Draugr. What an interesting We're not problem. we any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. Okay, well, luckily for you, my friend, I am, what, what level am I? 64, yeah, I am level 64. I don't really care about Draugr. Do I look like I care about Draugr? No. Anyway, so, yeah, that's Perth. Who is this? Just a normal guard. Reach old guard, yeah. All right, so let's go explore. And as you can see, there's two more locations back there that I can explore. Um, so we have a couple of places to go just in the general vicinity right here uh, for Skyrim City Treasures. But let's go into the miner's house. I don't expect to find anything really interesting, but uh, I just want to be absolute in Skyrim City Treasures. So let's go inside. All right, so... Can have a bit of privacy? Get out of here. Yeah, it was a novice lock, so we shouldn't... We're, like, trespassing right now, but Last let's see what warning. this guy has to say. Leave. Nothing. Nah. Alright. Well, he's uniquely named, so he probably does have some dialogue. I'm going to try and wait and see if that uh, lock will go away, and then we'll be able to talk to that guy, hopefully. Are lurking down there. Okay, so I waited four hours, and I came back and talked to this guy. Guards are useless. They just stand around waiting for a full regiment to come and help. He just says random things about the mine being in disarray and all that sort of stuff. So let's just take a quick look here. We have a couple of pickaxes, which we could steal if we wanted to utilize the mine for what its purpose is. Um, I don't think there's anything else in here. In fact, I read it about it online and there wasn't. So let's actually go explore the mine and hopefully cure these guys of their Draugr problem. All right, so nothing in that house. There's also a smelter over here. Um, let's talk We're to Perth just to see if he has anything else to say. No, this guard shouldn't have anything to say. Into the mine we go. All righty, time to kill us some droggers. And from what I've read, this place is fairly small, so we wouldn't, we shouldn't have a lot to go through to kill all of these guys to eradicate them completely from the uh, the mine. So there's one. There's another one, but they still don't actually see me just yet. Oh, there we go. That's the first time I've been detected in a long time on this guy. Sorry, but I'm a little bit quicker on the draw than you. All right. Let's just... There's no point being in sneak, is there? I mean, we do extra damage, but my guy is already super OP anyway. So we do have a quest marker. It's not pointing to each specific draugr, which is kind of interesting. So there might be, like, some point that we have to go to. Is there anything up there that I miss? Let's just double check really quickly. I don't know what this is, like some sort of wood blockade for some reason. And we have Jorna Britt's Last Dance, which is a skill book. I'm not sure what it is for. It looks like we've already read it, or it might be that we just have a hundred in whatever skill that is that it gives you. Okay, let's go back this way then. I think there was a path in the other direction. There sure was. Okay, so far so good. And I know this is like a moon silver ore place or something you can actually mine the, the moon silver we'll see if we can find some and there's a reason that we want to mine at least a little bit oh look at that i guess that's why this place is called soldier sinkhole it is a sinkhole there we go okay um so there's an entrance up there for something we could probably get to it in all honesty but uh looks like it wants us to drop down let's do that we can use this post to break our fall wow okay i thought that was a trap activating but it was just oh don't you hate when that happens in Skyrim, when your body just flings across, thanks to a Fushro Dash out? Alright, let's take care of these guys. Okay, that looks to be the last of them. Let's loot all these ebony arrows back and make sure we haven't missed anything back here. Uh, doesn't look like it, so it looks like the sound of our fall. Oh, look at this. We have a Breton here that seems to have not been able to survive the fall. Looks like the sound of our fall alerted all of them, but uh, that might be the end of all the Draugr. Maybe not. I don't know. This is a little bit bigger already than I thought it was going to be based on the description on UESP. This is a potion of ultimate healing, which I will take. Let's go ahead and go into sneak mode just to be... 
super sneaky. Okay, so we have, let's see, two levers here, three level, bleh, three levers here. That would be the obvious one. I'm going to assume this activates traps. Yeah, look at that. I was right. Okay, and we've got two more on the left and the right here, so one of these is probably the right one. What about you? Mm, okay, maybe we just have to activate both of them. I kind of figured as soon as I see, as soon as I saw more than one lever, I was like, yeah, that one in the middle is definitely going to be a uh, a trap one. Okay, let's head up this spiral wooden staircase to our impending doom. Of course, that's a joke. Nothing can kill me at the moment. All right, I hear some footsteps, and that is a trap rock, which what activates? Yeah, some of these steel poles. All right, what do we have in here? We have another Draugr Death Lord. Just one. Looks like it. Let's go. Oh, no, there's a guy over there. All right, let's hit, hit him with a sneak shot and then let's hit him with Soul Tear. There we go. Now he will fight for me. Notice I targeted the uh, Death Lord because he's going to be the strongest one that I can animate and uh, fight for me. And he's going to be doing the most damage. All right. Unequip that bow really quickly. So this is a nice little unique location. It's got this like river running through it um, Can we actually go through here? I don't know what the point. Oh, we can okay So probably nothing gonna be down here, but just in case let's do a quick one run through there is a chest Diamond flawless. No, 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 no greater. No. Yeah, don't want any of that stuff um, All right, let's get back up out of here before we drown to death Alright, let's take a quick look. What do we have here? Another potion of ultimate healing. Bunch of random alchemy stuff. Some refined moonstone. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Not because I want it, just because I need to see if it does something. Um, alright. Anything else? Just some of that ceremonial wrap stuff. Alright, looks like we're done with this location. Let's go ahead through this door and see what we can find. Are we? Do we have the this miscellaneous quest activated? Yeah, we do. Clear soldier sinkhole of Draugr. So yeah, it's weird that it doesn't have like unique um, map objectives pointing to each Draugr. Okay, so we have two locations here: this one and that one. I'm thinking this side because this one looks a little bit more hidden, even though the uh, quest objective seems to be the other way. Oh, you get a secret little chest. Look at that, or medium-sized chest, I guess, which has given me 20 gold. All right, let's sneak roll over back to the other way and hopefully find our destiny. Although I guess we've cleared most of our destiny with this character already, haven't we, since I've done pretty much everything you could possibly do in the game. Okay, looks like we got a boss fight up ahead and... Ow! What the hell just hit me? That thing's glowing for some reason. Oh, and so is that thing. Wow, this is unique. Look at that. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and fight this guy, which is Draugr Death Overlord. Look at that. All right. I don't see too many of those around. Alright, so not only are we fighting this guy, but we also have this uh, these two pillars shooting at us. So that should be fine. So that one shoots fire. I'm not sure what the one on the right does. It was glowing green before. You think it does poison or something? I don't know. Tell Pert that the Draugr are dead. Wonderful news. Alright, let's equip that bow. Let's search this guy just to see if he has anything. Six gold. Some of my ebony arrows back. Anything on the table? Uh take the sprig and sap sure I'll take the bone meal what is that taproot all right nothing really looks like a prime location for a word wall but I guess we're not gonna get one but we do have a master chest here 280 gold not bad spell to detect life I'm pretty much guarantee I already have that spell um all right so it looks like this is going to lead us to the exit over here I don't know if I've already passed some of that moonstone that I was talking about. What is this? Iron Great Sword of Burning. Could have been an opportunity for a unique weapon, but it's not. Oh, well. Um, I don't know if I've already passed some moonstone that we could have mined or not. But, uh, yeah, I read online that you can mine some of the moonstone. Oh, well. We did find a block of refined moonstone. Maybe that'll satisfy the requirements for what I'm trying to do here. All right. Let's go back to the exit. It should be right through here. We're keeping the mine closed until that crypt is clear. Well, lucky for you, Perth, I cleared the mine of Draugr. You did? We were waiting for the Jarl to send an entire regiment to clear that mine. Hmm, well, it's what now I do. Now we can get back to work. Thank you. No problem. All right, so we get 1,500 gold. I'm assuming that's leveled gold. Um, And now we should be able to... Let's see what... Do you have anything to say? Mining out this old... Okay, what about you? 
divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. All right, that's weird. I heard you can sell like moonstone ore to these, to like one of these guys, but it doesn't look like we have any dialogue options here. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Um, but regardless, that was Soldier the Sinkhole. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. Leave your suggestions for more Skyrim Hidden Treasures below. Maybe take a look at the playlist just to make sure I haven't done the one that you want to suggest. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, help me out by liking it, adding it to your favorites, and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and follow my social pages as well as my Twitch channel. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you want to subscribe and or watch another video that's probably going to be related to this one, you can click the big ol' annotations on the screen. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.